Hello and welcome back to episode 4 of The Long Dark. I'm Vic and you're watching yet another Let's Play channel. And we have lootering to do. And it is not wise to just stand around in the wind and the cold. And those wolves are still just like hanging around in town, which is super uncool of them. I don't know if you've noticed, um, but you can hear Will's gear kind of banging around as we walk around, which is neat. And uh, the banging around is, is indicating that we are starting to get pretty laden. Can I destroy the cap? Do I have a hat? I guess I'm wearing it for now. Fine. Having something in a slot, I think, is better than not having something in a slot. I could use this. Flare shell. Um, yeah, having something in a slot better than not having something in a slot. So, um, we'll try and keep all our slots filled. I don't know what I'm going to do with a flare shell because I did not bring the kit with the flare gun in it. Um, I think if I had that kit, I might be able to use the flare gun to scare off the wolves if they came after me. I can always use more food. Yes, that's very true, Will. Um, and being able to scare off the wolves would be nice. Um, you know, looking back on the opening sequence... I think that uh, I might have actually been able to get by without could end up being useful without the food and water kit. So maybe, maybe um, the kit with the flare gun in it would have been the right way to go. But um, I do not think that it was a bad choice to pick the food and water one. Requires bank manager's house key. Where do you suppose we'll find a bank manager's house key, huh? You know, these houses don't look very burned, but I'm betting that they are the ones that did burn. Um... Let's go back to Mama's house and unburden ourselves a little bit and then make our way down the road because I think, I think that might be the gas station down there which I believe was one of our specified destinations. I feel like Will is walking really slow sometimes and I don't know if it's the wind or uh, if we're just that burdened. I don't, I don't see an indicator on the screen for being over capacity. But we're also still not in great shape, so... Let's see. I think we have some more... What? What happened to the rotten venison that we gave her? Does it, does it not, did it actually decay away? Is that what happened? That would be pretty annoying. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. And, uh, that. And... Cattail stalks don't seem to be decaying at all. So let's keep those because we do need food. I hate coffee, so let's go ahead and give the coffee to her. Um, and that ought to be good. Now it's back to 900 again. So annoying. Um, and how are we doing in here? 22 out of 25? Oh, we put on more clothes, and that 
that doesn't get counted toward our backpack, but it does get counted toward our weight. Okay. Well, we got more th thermal underwear on, so that's nice. Um, I need to find a place to put some of this stuff that I want to keep for now. But I think that we can go ahead and, uh, and give her some of this. Um, yeah, why not? We'll give her ten sticks and keep the remainder for ourselves. 3.41. Okay, so it's not the weight in there, so it must be the burn time. Keep hearing them wolves. As long as they stick to themselves, I do not mind. Um, and we didn't hear the music, which I think means that they haven't actually, like, started to pay attention to us. Man, look at those clouds move. That's some pretty high winds up there in the atmosphere. Probably got some more bad weather coming our way. Let's see. So I mentioned in episode one that I have played this before. I'm pretty sure that if I didn't actually finish episode three, that I got to a point where I could finish it. Um, what I might have done, because I do remember thinking about it, is um, just saved when I decided that I was ready to finish it. So that um, when the new episode came out, if I wanted to, I could just you know, load that up and... Uh, you know, do any last supplies gathering that I wanted to do, and then move on. There's another wolf over there. Because I kind of remember... Cool. That being a thing between episodes 2 and 3. But, um... My Steam history does not corroborate me learning that. Um, I thought maybe I played through chapters 1 and 2... And, um, and then had to wait for three to come out. But, um, I basically got all my Steam achievements over the course of a few days in May of last year. Uh, which means that that wouldn't have been what happened. Feel numb. Your fingers feel numb, do they? Well, maybe if you would actually wear your mittens instead of just lying to me about them being on in your interface. Hmm? I could eat a horse. Oh, hey. A person. Well, another stranger. Have you escaped the town? Escaped the town? No, I just arrived. Not a refugee from the highways, then. You look weary, traveler. Come, warm yourself by the fire. Who are you? I'm nobody, but you can call me Methuselah. I'm here to witness the passing of an age. What do you mean, the passing? Don't you see the signs? What's Santa Claus doing here? Any idea why all the cars are stalled and left behind? They all stopped running. People abandoned them. Nothing but metal coffins now. You always this cheerful? My heart weeps for you, stranger. My days are nearly finished. But you'll have to live with what remains. Hmm. <laughs> you seem oddly familiar, old man. Is that right? Yeah. And this whole place feels strange and empty. 
The quakes changed everything here, years ago. Great Bear's back was broken, and it's been laid low ever since. Then what are you still doing here? Aren't we here to witness an apocalypse of an apocalypse, you and I? No one thought the world would end this way, but how could they not have seen it? It's probably just the storm, the power failure. I'm sure everything will be back to normal in a few days. I'm not sure anything will ever be back to normal. Well, I can relate to that feeling, Methuselah. What is this town? I don't recall seeing it on any maps. This is Milton. <laughs> Paradise Lost. It's a town of the old world. Discarded. Left behind. You won't find much hope. I need to find my friend. I'm not sure you'll find any friends here. What about you? I'm looking for my friend. She was with me when my plane crashed. But it looks like she must have made it out alive. Have you seen anyone pass by here? Many people have passed. All have gone into the town. I haven't seen any come back. Go safely, and good luck to you. I hope you find what you're looking for. Well, um, thanks, Santa. I'm just gonna loot this place. I hope you don't need any... Ooh, Storm Lantern. I'll take that. Um, general notice to Orca Gas locations on Great Bear Island. We are no longer in a position to ensure adequate and timely supply deliveries from our mainland distribution centers. We regret to inform you that we must reduce the frequency of our supply deliveries to once per quarter. As such, we are relaxing restrictions on using local suppliers. This applies to our remote locations only. All Orca gas locations on the mainland must continue to source their merchandise from approved providers. Well, well, well. Everything that we find suggests something pretty dire going on on the mainland, too. I'll leave you a cup of coffee, you dang weirdo. No, I don't really want to smash that up right now. Dog food. Good stuff. Not so great on the taste but plenty of calories. Well, this is good. We ought to be able to feed Mama on this. And maybe there will be some for ourselves as well. Take it, take it. Oh yeah, we're swimming in supplies over here at the gas station. This is the spot to be. Anything left in the fountains, I wonder? Doesn't matter much since the power's out. That bit about sourcing gas from Local suppliers has got to be some kind of joke, though. Are we supposed to believe that this place... Hmm. With this collapsing economy? Oh, we're overburdened now. Yeah. Uh, might have to put the bedroll back down for now. Don't really need to light a fire in a fire barrel just now. Hey bud, sorry to leave you hanging like this with the storm and the power and everything, but it sounds like it's all gone to hell out, out at the upper ridge, upper bridge tonight. Car's broken down, a mess, and some rich mainlander won't budge from his truck. Probably thinks we're all a bunch of bandits waiting to rip him off, usual story. 
Anyway, me and Jason are going to go up there and see if we can talk some sense into him before the storm gets even worse. I'll sort you out in the morning. Thanks, Peter. Okay. Search the abandoned truck for emergency supplies. Yes, please. Those are not very useful, and we're overburdened. So why why is my blood empty? Dehydrated. That's not my blood being empty. Okay. Well, I can fix dehydrated. Look at all this stuff. Let's see. Um, I've got plenty. I don't need to drink one that's bad. Alrighty. Now we're in better shape. So we've got a bit of a sprain risk right now because we are overburdened. But I would much rather get as much of this stuff as I can back home. So, uh, bye, bye Santa. Uh, I hope you're still here when I come back, but I'm not going to count on it. I need to find a place to rest. Yeah. We'll go back to Mom's and have a little nap. Um... And I think maybe I'll pick one of the houses near her uh, to stash some stuff. We're definitely walking slower now on account of being overburdened. I'm hoping that if we can recover our condition somewhat, we're at about one third now. If we can get that up, that that'll anything right about now. help us carry more. Well, fine. You want to you want to eat something? We can eat something. We got, we got stuff. You alright now? You gonna make it home? We gotta give some of this stuff to mom. And, uh... Then maybe we can move on. Oh, who am I kidding? We're not moving on anytime soon. We got plenty of stuff left to do around here. Um... I don't know if she's going to give us that rifle, but it sure would be nice if she did. Can't have that, those boards, apparently. Do you think I've got enough supplies to sleep through the night? That sure would be nice. And which house do I want to temporarily move into? And that one's reasonably close and sort of on the way to where we're going. And you know what? I should move into the uh, credit union. I think that makes sense. Hey, wolves, are you still around? Maybe they left. Wouldn't that be nice for me? Getting a little dark. Um, can we... Use? No. Light? Hey, hey! Now we can survive in the dark. Okay, so let's... Let's offload some stuff here. Um, dump some matches. No. All of them. There we go. We'll put those aside as well. Uh, coal, we'll put that in, in Mom's firebox. Go ahead and dump some of those. And uh, we definitely don't need all of that. It sure would be nice if it gave me the little, the little what's it. Uh, okay, so. Put those aside for now. And these. And that. And those. Getting there, but still not all the way there. Okay, what do we got here? 
busted torch. Apparently I can't put that in mom's firebox. Um, let's put away most of the stones. That'll work. Okay, and then I think we got some stuff. Let's go ahead and put the recycled cans away for now. I'm going to want them. I don't need them right now. I definitely don't need flare shells right now. And we'll put the bedroll over there too. So I think the rest of that stuff is going to mom's. So put that out, head outside. Can I... Can I fill? Uh, no, that's not what I want. Put that away. Alrighty. So, we'll go ahead and drop the coal in there, and all of that. And, um, that ought to be getting really close to what she needs. 11.11 11 out of 12. Nice. Pretty dark in here. Pretty convenient that it's got a built-in ignition. I definitely appreciate that. Alright, so jerky and some crackers and some soda and some more crackers, and some more soda. And uh, look at all those sardines. I got a lot of food. We definitely did well in the uh, convenience store over there. Let's go ahead and give you the rest of the crackers. Um... We have a lot of soda. We don't need all the soda. Okay, let's see how we're doing now. 6,300 out of 8,000. We're doing good. And now... Good night, Mom. Uh, let's go have a little nap. This one ought to work, right? And... Bedtime. Uh, I'm not really sure how long we need to sleep for it to be light again, so let's go with that. Okay, we're awake and we're dehydrated and it's still dark. Um, so let's go ahead and deal with that problem. That's an improvement. I wonder what time it is. Hi, Mom. I'm going out. It's, uh... It's looking pretty dark still, isn't it? But we need to go out, get back out there and get some more supplies. It would be nice if I could refill my lantern. Where is my lantern? There it is. Refuel. Nice. All right, and how? 18.46 out of 30 kilograms. So I definitely, I recovered some carry capacity overnight. My condition really doesn't look that much better, so maybe maybe the loss was just due to fatigue. I'm down with that. Um, let's see, we can go ahead and gather up a little bit more firewood, but um, let's, let's head back to the convenience store first and see if there's any more food we can grab, and then we'll pick up some firewood on the way back. I think maybe there's something else out past the convenience store that it would be nice to find.
I remember dynamic weather is a big thing in this game, but I can't remember how much of it is a thing in the campaign and how much of it is just in survival mode. Um, but it is, it's definitely a thing where, like, you might wake up one morning and it's a blizzard, and if you go outside, you will die. And uh, so you just have to hope that you've got enough calories on hand to get through the storm. Which is pretty wild. There's a wolf out there. I was hoping that there would be a deer. I don't know why I care if there's a deer. I can't take down a deer right now. Um, you think Santa Claus is still in there, or do you think he moved on? Still there. Look at that. Okay, we're gonna need that light. Light it up, please. Thank you. And look at that. Leaving water behind. Not very good at this survival thing, are we, Will? Okay, I don't know why that was an option. Get, thank you. Okay, ooh, candy bars. Tin of coffee, sure. We can leave that with mom, because I'm sure as hell not going to drink it. More peaches. Okay, I think... I think we're going to be alright. I think we got enough calories for mom. Um, and I think it's going to be really easy to just go out back and bust up a few of those pallets and then we should be ready to roll. Already searched in there. How did I not search the trash can? Okay. Out back. Can I bust those up? No? Can bust these up. Let's do it. Alright, and that is enough to get us for sure. Okay, wolves, you just stay over there. Mind your own business. I'm just out for a little walk. Oh, I'm dying. I'm not out for a little dying walk. Like warm up soon. Yeah, I noticed. <clears throat> oh, it's because I spent all that time busting up those pallets. That's what it was. All I can think about is food. Yeah, okay. It's gonna be all right. Let's see. The so, granola bar is the. Yep. There you go. You're gonna make it. So now I think we'll spend a little bit of time. warming up and waiting for the sun to come out. Don't know why we can't spend the time talking to Santa Claus, but it is what it is. Drink up our last soda. And now I think we'll make our way back to mom's house. Put the lamp away. Put the lamp away. There we go. I only see the one wolf over there. Is that even a wolf? That looks pretty small. That could be 
Well, it's pretty big for a fox, though, so I'm going to go with wolf. If it was in my neck of the woods, I would say that it was a coyote. But in any case, we don't want it to see us and decide that it's more hungry than it is scared. So we'll head on back to Mom's. We'll top off her food box and her fire box, hopefully. Uh, and we are all out of time for episode four, so we're going to do that in episode five. Talk to you soon.